Hi, my name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and you're watching the Ask Dr. T Show. Today's question is, what can I do to help treat my Hashimoto's or autoimmune thyroid issues uh, and or Graves' disease? Matter of fact, what can I do to make my thyroid gland work the way that it's supposed to? Well, this is going to be an interesting uh, video because what we're going to talk about is laser treatments or photobiomodulation. And there are a plethora of studies out there that talk about how laser light therapy can improve thyroid function, can lower antibodies in Hashimoto's, can help reverse Graves' disease. It's crazy. And you've probably never even heard about this, have you? And these studies aren't brand new. They've been around for a while, okay? So how does it work? So how does a light therapy or laser therapy, aka photobiomodulation, help your thyroid? Well, a couple things that it does. It increases blood flow, circulation. It improves healing. It increases growth factors, which help healing. And it also decreases inflammation. And the way it does this is that your mitochondria, which are in each cell of your body, okay, mitochondria can actually absorb the photons, the light therapy, just like plants can absorb light and you get photosynthesis. But in a body, it's called photobiomodulation. And so your, your body absorbs the light. It makes ATP. ATP is what your, your cells, each individual cell uh, uses, to make, uh, uses to make energy. And it also increases NO, nitric oxide, which is improved circulation. So you shine light, specific wavelengths of light on your thyroid gland, you make ATP, you make nitric oxide, it decreases inflammation, it starts working better, okay? So the next question is, do I go somewhere for that? Um, can I do it at home? Well, yeah, you can do it at home now because I finally found a unit out there that's strong enough to penetrate to your thyroid gland. You know, just a little side note, You, if you go online, you're gonna find a, a lot of different red light products that are claiming to do a lot of different things. And red light does, you know, these it's light therapy. It does do a lot of things, but the issue is how far down is it penetrating through your skin? You gotta get down about one to two centimeters, okay? Which is like, you know, like about that much to get your thyroid gland, because it's not that far down there. But most of the other units that you might find out there, they're for aesthetic reasons. They're for your skin. They'll make your skin look better. It'll get rid of wrinkles because it will do that. It decreases inflammation. It gets your skin to work better. But that's it. It doesn't go deeper than that. You need something that's going to go a little bit deeper. And voila, we have this product here. It's called an Infra Helios. It goes for $599. But if you're my patient, you can get it $100 off with a coupon code, hint, hint. And this unit will penetrate about two centimeters through your skin, okay? It's safe. Um, the way you would use it is you put it on your thyroid gland for 20 minutes a day, okay? Seem like a hassle to do that? You know, you gotta sit there and hold it for 20 minutes? Well, no, what's more of a hassle? You taking all your medications and going to see the doctor, treating you for Hashimoto's, or you're at home watching Netflix and you just hold it here for 20 minutes a day. Big deal, okay? And it's, you do, and it's got an automatic shut off, so if you forget what time you started, it'll shut off automatically at 30 minutes. There's four different settings on it, so you can do 25% power, 50%, 75%, 100%. And it's invisible light. So when you turn it on and you don't see anything happening, it's like, well, this thing's not working. No, it's working, but it's infrared light. It's invisible. Okay, you don't see it. When you go into a far infrared sauna and you turn it on and you're sitting in there, do you see the far infrared light? No, because it's invisible to the human eye. So the next question that I know you're thinking about and want to ask is, Wow, is that what this unit was made for, for a thyroid gland? No, it wasn't. It was made for people that have other areas of pain, arthritis. Your hand, your neck, your lower back, okay? Um, it wasn't necessarily made for your thyroid gland, but it will work for your thyroid gland because it's the same idea. It's the same mechanism that you're using to treat other parts of your body. So yes, after you treat your thyroid gland, if your hand's bothering you or something else, you can use it on other parts of your body too, okay? 
extra benefit. And again, I'll put links in for the different studies so you can read about them. Uh, I'll give you a link where you can purchase one of these if you want to find out more information about it. Well, I think that's that's about it. And any other questions out there? Anybody have any other questions? Oh, there's a lot of questions out there. Well, we've run out of time. So if you do have a question you really need to ask, you can email me at drthelpdesk at gmail.com or you can go to our website, uh, askdrt.weebly.com. My name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and you've just been learning about treating your thyroid gland. Take care.